Hey there folks, this is Alex the Storyteller and I translated this film strip for you. Uh, this is a film strip about a boy who wanted to be like the first cosmonaut astronaut in the space, Yuri Gagarin, the first man in the space. So uh, I think and I hope that you will love it. Write something in the comment sections and uh, subscribe. My namesake Yuri Gagarin, a film strip about a boy who was named after the first cosmonaut of the Earth, about his dreams of the future. I have the most heroic name. When I say that, everyone thinks that I'm showing off, and I'm not bragging at all. It just happened that way, and I was born in April 1961, and they named me Yuri in honor of the pilot cosmonaut, hero of the Soviet Union Yuri Gagarin. We are namesakes with him, just me demo fay f. When people ask me what I want to be, I always say, I want to be a cosmonaut, like Yuri Gagarin. I know everything about him. I have read so many books, and there are a whole wall of photos of him. Do you want me to tell you? Gagarin was born near the city of Jatsk. This is the house where he grew up. Yuri was seven years old when the war began. Air battles were in full swing in the sky over Jatsk. If ours won, Yura screamed with joy. He probably wanted to be a pilot even then. When the Germans were driven away, Yura, like all the kids, began to go to school. He was a pioneer, you see, a photo in a red tie. It was a hard time. After the sixth grade, Yura went to a vocational school, studied as a foundry worker. He's in the middle, second row. He studied well. He was then sent to the city of Saratov to an industrial college. Here he is photographed as a student. There was an flying club in Saratov. Here Gagarin fulfilled his first dream. He flew into the sky on a Yak-18 aircraft. Only, of course, he studied at first. He was a flight school student. After the first solo flights, he decided, I will be a pilot. I will fly fast jets. I will be a military pilot. Yuri Gagarin always got his way. He entered the Orenburg Aviation School and studied only for high grades. After all, he had a goal in life. He wanted to become a real pilot, such as Valerich Kalov, and he became such a pilot. No weather, no hardships ever stopped him. Day and night, he brought his plane to the designated target. You see, the squadron commander congratulates him, and Gagarin already had a new dream to become a conqueror of space, and of course he got it. He entered the school of cosmonauts. How much he trained, how much he studied. After all, an cosmonaut must be strong, enduring, persistent, and must know a lot. It was difficult, but no one saw Yuri Gagarin in a bad mood. He was always cheerful. Once he said, our training is coming to an end, the day of launch is approaching. I am very happy and proud of the trust placed in us, and that day has come. April 12, 1961, my birthday and the birthday, as the cosmonauts say, of the new space age. The giant rocket is ready to launch. See you soon. Gagarin says goodbye to his comrades. Now the elevator will take him to the top of the rocket, where the cosmonauts' cabin is located. Five, four, three, two, one, launch. Ну, поехали. Said Gagarin, and the flight has begun. Gagarin was the first in the world to see our Earth from a distance, from space. Beautiful, in a soft blue glow. He flew around it. All people followed his flight. Everyone was excited and happy. They did not leave the radios. They wanted to know what kind of person he is. Yuri Gagarin. Probably a very big a strong man. The flight lasted 108 minutes. Finally finish. The Vostok spacecraft, piloted by the USSR pilot cosmonaut Major Yuri Alexeyevich Gagarin, successfully landed in the assigned area. So said the announcer Levitin on the radio. Solemn moment. The first cosmonaut is back on Earth. Did you pay attention to the suit in which he landed? This suit is now in the Star City Museum. I'm lucky. I was there. Oh, and it's so interesting. A chair from the ship Vostok is stored there. In it, Yuri Gagarin flew into space. On top of that blue suit, Gagarin was wearing an orange spacesuit. I even touched it a little. A mirror is sewn on the sleeve of the suit. It turns out in order to see if the parachute opened overhead or not. You can't lift your head in a helmet. In the museum, I met a real astronaut. You recognized him, of course. 
This is the hero of the Soviet Union, Popovich Pavel Romanovich. He told me how they met Gagarin after the flight. It was April 14, 1961. The day was warm, spring. The sun shone brightly. The streets were full of people, as if on the biggest holiday. Finally, the Il-18 aircraft appeared, on board of which Gagarin was. Accompanied by an escort of fighters, he made a circle of honor over Moscow and landed at Vinukovo Airport. It's impossible to forget how Yuri appeared at the door of the plane, fit and smiling, and what an ovation he received from the huge crowd of people who came to Vinukovo. Here he is walking down the red carpet. He is preparing to report to the party and government about his flight. At that moment, the whole country, the whole world was looking at him. The first flight in the history of mankind on the Soviet spacecraft Vostok was successfully accomplished. All devices and equipment worked accurately and flawlessly, ready to take on any new assignment. Moscow rejoiced. People stood along the entire road from Vinukovo to the Kremlin, shouting, throwing flowers. There was a demonstration on Red Square. Newspapers of all countries printed his portrait and greetings to the country of socialism, the first to step into space. People of different races, different nations wanted to see the first cosmonaut of the Earth to shake his hand. Yuri Gagarin traveled the whole world, and everywhere his road was strewn with flowers. Glory came to Gagarin. Many countries awarded him with their orders and medals. He was a participant in party and Komsomol Congresses, conferences. The people chose him as a deputy of the Supreme Council, but he remained the same cheerful, simple person who is friends with the children. He loves sports, fishing, enjoys hunting with his cosmonaut friends. For two little girls, he is just a dad, a father who tells fairy tales and plays interesting games with his daughters. A real person, he prepared himself for new flights, did not rest on what he had achieved continued to study at the Zhukovsky Air Force Academy. So you take an example from the namesake. Havel Romanovich Popovich told me, Learn to get your way. Maybe your time will come, you will fly to the moon. The cosmonaut said goodbye to me and left, and I lingered for a moment at this photo. Gagarin on the plane. He trained all the time, made flights. He also dreamed of going to space once more, to see other planets. Everything seemed to be like this, and all of a sudden, something like this happened. Aviation accident. Oh, and I cried when Yuri Gagarin was buried. The first cosmonaut. I really want to be like him. I want to become the same enduring, strong, fearless. Now I try to study better, try to overcome difficulties, correct my character, and then I will grow up. I will definitely become an astronaut. I'm still Gagarin's namesake. The end. Thanks for listening. Subscribe to the channel and see you real soon with the new translations of the most valuable cultural Russian film strips.